all of the fights that I did on film, and indeed as a modern fencer and as a coach, I stored a lot of experiences and uh, sword work away in my mind so uh, something would happen and it would then click in the position think, oh yes, I remember that. You know, he's a, a gentleman, has a very good, sometimes wicked sense of humor. Um, you could say that he was, uh, that he is strict, you know, as a sword master. And I think in Ala Triste he was given the right <clears throat> that he deserved to show us how to do it and show the director how to do these fights. And, and there are no elements of style or choreography in those duels or in those battles that are untrue to the period, untrue to the characters. With all of these uh, fighting stories, they all finish up with a good fight between the goody and the baddie and um, they have to remember every blow. And he said, are you ready? Are you as ready as you can be? And he goes, yeah, of course. And just with it, like in a sort of Yoda moment, <laughs> you know, this sort of Zen master moment. I don't know how he did it, but Bob, with just a little flick, sent the guy's sword flying across the room. I teach from the fight backwards to the technique. Bob looked at him and said, well, that was probably unfair. You probably weren't really ready. Uh, why don't you go get it again? Go pick up your sword. And the guy came back, he's sort of red-faced, and he's, he said, now get ready, he's really get ready. And the man really got quite ready this time. This wasn't going to happen again. And Bob said, are you ready? And he said, yes, master. He says, you sure? He goes, okay. And then Bob just went like that again, almost an imperceptible movement, and the sword went flying across the room again. And it was magical, it was amazing. I'd always say that I never took up the sword. I think the sword took me up. And he did this uh, from a sitting position. He never got up, you know, and he was able to do that. I can't do it on my own. I can't attack and run round and parry and then come back again. You've got to have two people at least. And so it wasn't always the obvious uh, thing that he would do. He, like a very good teacher, always does. He, he, adapted, he adapts to the situation and to the person he's speaking to. And you always feel like he's speaking directly to you. And not in a condescending way, but in a... He's, he's trying to get the best out of you. That's his goal. I think the sword was put there for me to fall over and keep falling over until I picked it up and did something with it. And I had it given to me, thrust upon me, if you like. That's how it happened.